If there's one phrase oh. that describes this group, it's knows what we're doing. <laughs> Welcome back to Punch and Roll. Thank you so much for joining us. Follow us online, Punch and Roll, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those good places. All right, guys. What what is happening? Let's see. We uh we have we're in the middle of a battle for the Moon Trio. The Jungle Duo is getting ready to head out in search of a battle. In search of a battle, and I do have to inform you that your time is up and you're reverting. We only spent 15 minutes. Okay. I'm sad. <laughs> Fine. I should have reverted you guys like three sessions ago, but oh, we're doing wow. it now. So it's, it's happening. It is happening. Well, so, as usual, that doesn't make much of a difference for Lazuli, except she will now not be understood. That's it. Does this you two mean, can talk to each other. Can we now talk to the guys on the moon? Yeah. Yeah. But they're in the middle of a battle. Well, we don't know that. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. true. <laughs> it's going to make a bit of a difference for uh, Galish for if you. we decide yeah. to use any, like, magic-y things. Um, but what we could do is hold off on taking the extra cure um, until we're closer to getting Needing into it. trouble. Got it. Yes. <laughs> So we'll we'll retcon this a bit too because we never really said, but you have seven. Yes. Technically right. two more for you and then one for the rest of the group. Well, actually one, two, three, four, five, six. You would get two rounds and then there's enough for the entire group. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Um and any like any magical enhancements on your weapons would still be intact. Okay, that's dead. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't go away just because you're a zombie. So And sweet. So the the cloaks would work too? They should. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, because the zombie thing affects your um, your health points and like your ability, so you can't, well, you know, cast spells or something like that. But yeah, yeah. I never could. So <laughs> 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 jokes on you. I've always been a zombie. <laughs> so before we get back into the battle, would you like to make a call? Yeah. <laughs> Well, of course. <laughs> we don't know it's a stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. All okay. right, so as you're reverting, um, Galish is, you, you, you press the buttons and um, sticky. Do, do, do. <laughs> um, hey, uh. hello. Uh. Uh, Wait, no, we can under we speak the same language as you now, Sticky. We're oh, zombies. delightful. I'm sorry that you're zombies, <laughs> but I'm glad we can communicate. Absolutely. We're, we're, dear. we're a bit busy at the moment. Um, oh. Uh, evil robots, a uh, mass of soldiers trying to break through a door to kill us, and two um, large metal uh, sky wagons that we need to figure out how to pilot. Any advice? Uh, don't die all the way? Good plan. Fight hard, dear. I believe in you. Thank you, darling. Click. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. The rest of it you can tell them later, like the potential temporary cure and all that. That can wait, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right. So as you guys click off, and I'm assuming Galish and, and Laz are like, oh, they seem to be busy right now. We will move back to the hangar where you guys are in the middle of a fight. Okay. All right. So top of the round to Sticky, who just got off a phone call. If memory serves, yeah, right. I'm like, pardon me, just one minute. Um, if memory serves, I scattered a whole bunch of ball bearings between me and these two robots. Um, and they did not take the bait and step into them. Not, not yet. yet. <laughs> so there is a mass of ball bearings between me and them. Mm-hmm. All right. 
I'm a pretty heavy guy. <laughs> For my movement, I'm going to belly slide across the ball bearings, trying to knock into the one I've injured. And if I'm really lucky, I can get a 7-10 split and send him into the other one as well. Oh, I love it. Um, I don't... Trying to knock at least one of these two down, hopefully both. I don't know if that would be, like, a straight, like, you know what I mean, attack? I feel like that's more something else, like acrobatics athletics. Acrobatics roll, perhaps? Or acrobat oh, yeah. you're good at acrobatics. I'm good at acrobatics. Acrobatics away. I feel like it would have been bonus points if you were doing this on the phone call. <laughs> 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 like, whoa! <laughs> Gotta go. 23. Yes! Did you did you want that seven ten split? I one hundred percent want the seven ten split. <laughs> okay, so when you do that, how far away are you knocking them? Well, I just want to knock. I you know it's the seven. You're gonna send it sideways mm -hmm. to knock into the other one and have them both end up on the ground. Okay. I'm not looking for distance. I'm looking for prone. Oh, I see. Okay, you're not trying to take him away you're trying to well knock him into if each the other. physics of it happens to catapult uh, the one i haven't injured yet far away i'll take it but i'm really just aiming for two prone robots okay uh give me also strength natural oh, 20 beautiful okay so you do hit number 3 and you and the force of it Pushes number five, we'll say back outside of the circle, and we'll say number three also kind of goes. A oh no, bit. no, I want him by. I want him near me. You want him near you? Yes. Fair enough. They're both down. Let me write this down. Number was it three and five are prone, mm -hmm. and they're both prone. Um, roll damage also. Oh, what would you like me to roll? Uh, I mean, you don't have a straight body slam <laughs> attack, do you? No. Um, Actually, we do as zombies. Oh yes! Oh, that's right. There is that's a right. Uh, there is a uh, action called slam, slam. which is the, a melee well, uh, melee uh, attack, which is one d six plus one. Uh, I'll tell you, games. I was hoping to just use my movement for this. So if you because I have an action I want to do later. So <laughs> if you, if you don't want me to do damage because I'm not using my action, that's fine with me. You now then, if you want to give me some damage, that's fine too. I was gonna say, do you want to do damage? I'm fine I, with you doing damage. I'm always good doing damage. All right. So let's say. It's only 1d6, huh? Plus um, one. I would say, because one of them's going to take the brunt of it, so they would take that full hit, mm -hmm. and the other would take, like, a partial. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe, like, for the first one, that's the 1d6, and the other one may, like, say 1d4. Okay. Ironically, it's worse for the D4. It's uh, it's a 1 for the 1D6 and a 2 for the D4. Hit the other guy right in the ACL. Just boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they are both prone, so Great. there's that. Is All there, right. on the back of this robot, some sort of... Because I remember on the... On the um, on the, the sarcophagus things, there was like an access panel or something like that. Is there anything like that on the back of this guy? Um, roll for your up close, so investigation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm not as good at that, but that's okay. 19. Oh, yeah, you are good at it. Come on. <laughs> Don't be so modest, Sticky. Uh, All right. Yeah, it, it looks a lot like the other ones, the, like there would be a wire paneling and stuff. Can I sleight of hand to get that panel open? Yeah. Oh, oh man, if I was still a rogue, I could do that as a bonus action. Oh, well, okay. Uh, oh, wait, that... is this your, the end of your actions? Unless you let me do it as a bonus action, it'll be the end of my actions. I just take it, it's fun. 18. <laughs> yes, you get it open. Then I'm gonna reach in there and pull out anything I can pull out. Uh, strength check? Three. I mean, to be fair, you're still on your belly and it was an mm -hmm. exhilarating ride. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say like a five wires, you get one. Okay. Yeah. So he sparks a little bit, but he's still still alive. up and about. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. I think that makes me very much out of everything I can do. <laughs> you're And you're still prone also. I will use the second half of my movement to stand up. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So to the robots, they're down. <laughs> um, I think, let's see, look at their thing. I think it would be one whole action to stand. I'm just looking at their things. Oh! Okay. Uh, I was just looking at their vulnerabilities. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so they both stand. So that's one whole action. Um, and that's where we're going to leave it. It's just them standing. Okay. And then... Uh... I don't remember. Does Sticky get an attack of opportunity if he that one tries to stand up in front of him? Only if it's moving beyond him. It's just standing and holding its ground, yeah. Oh. Um, oh gosh, I guess we'll just... We'll go again, now this time for Yuza. Oh my gosh, that's a two. <laughs> Not even a wizard. Swing and a miss! Yep. And, yeah. 23. Uh... Nice. Okay. Um, For eight points of bludgeoning damage. That one, that one's... Four. Anything else you want to do on your turn? Mm, don't think there's anything I can do. Okay, uh, to use a... So we have a slam attack? Yeah. It's basically your, your only special. Uh, what would I roll if I want to? Um, it's a out? melee, plus three to hit, reach five feet, so you can hit it because it's in your range. So whatever, plus three. Okay, my quarterstaff is plus three, so that's fine. I, as a wizard, which is a terrible idea, wish to slam the robot, mostly because we're in space and I want to make this a space jam. I feel like you should get an inspiration point just for using Space Jam in a sentence. It's all that's been playing in my head since someone said slam. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's awesome. But it is a 10. Does not hit. Too busy jamming. <laughs> Need more slamming. All right. Okay, we're at the top of the round. Sticky. Okay, well, uh, that didn't work out too well, but I don't know what... Uh, uh, those sparks, if those wires carry that little sort of bits of fire in them, the only thing I can think to do is put out the fire. So I'm going to swing around to the back of this sort of use my movement to swing around to the back where that access panel is still open. And I take up my water skin and I unload the contents of the water skin right in that panel to see if it does anything. Oh, I love it. I Is love this it. where we quietly sing, we didn't start the fire in the background? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't think I can ever honestly sing that second. as this character. <laughs> I want to just look at one thing I real started quick. all the fires. It is vulnerable to water. Excellent. So I'm just trying to see how much... You could squirt it in the access panel and say, what are you waiting for? tell you what um just roll me a straight d20 okay a four um it's not completely out i think you were a little bit too excited when you were spraying the water so sure. it wasn't a direct hit um, but it does start to spark a little and kind of jerk around, kind of like how my hands are doing. And so you get the feeling on the next round, if you could, it would probably, if you can get a more direct hit on it with water, okay. it would probably go out. Do I have more water left in my water skin? How many water skins do you got? I have one water skin. I don't know how much of it I wound up using. That's a good question. How much of it did you want to use? All of it. <laughs> You used all of it? I wanted to pour all of it in there. Is okay, what I well, to do. then you, you do not have any more all water. Right. Okay. I'll figure <laughs> but it, something else but out. It is, it is sparking, and we will say, what is that one? Number? You went, went for three? Three. three. Okay. Um, and as zombies, we probably oh. have like terrible dry mouths, too. So I think I'm on the back side of him now. There we go. Can't like. Yeah. 
So basically what yeah. I'm going to say just for like um, kind of your own reference as far as like what that did. Yeah. Uh, that was like basically half, like you took off half of its life. Fantastic. So if okay. you had a direct hit, you would have had 100%. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Cool. I, I will shout out, if you can get water inside them, it goes very badly <laughs> for them. Oh. I don't think Yuza likes water. I don't, but I have <laughs> water. I have a water skin. <laughs> All right, uh, Sticky, anything else you want to do? No, I'm good. Okay. So the robot in front of you is kind of like jerking around um, because of what you did to it. Let me just do something. Wow, that's a crappy roll. Um, I'm he's... not complaining. <laughs> He's jerking around. He's not really trying to attack you, and he just falls prone again on the ball bearings. Great. Because I rolled a three. That was a lot of fun. Um, okay, so uh, number number five. I'm trying to think. Um, they have movement. Number five is going to go join his friend here and guard this spacecraft. Number two is going to still hold steady. So you guys, so basically they're guarding the entrance to the spacecrafts. Number four is going to go after Uthal. 16. Um, does Ty, how does Ty? Ty, Ty well, wait. goes to the attacker. Oh, wait, hold on a sec though. But I am able to use my shield. So it's technically an 18 is what my armor class is. So nope, it goes clang off my shield. Cool. All right, and that's where we're at. Uthal, to you. 17. Okay, are you, I take it you're all just holding where you're at. Yeah, macing the guy who just tried to hit me. Uh, does not hit. 17? Does not hit. Okay. All right, uh, Yuza? What do the robots look like? Are they humanoid? Are they, like, guys? Um, they're actually hover, like, hover bot kind of things, like, Imagine I'm sort of just maybe like two or three inches off the ground, like hovering around. Not really humanoid. Um, unfortunately, I could not find robots in shard, so they are represented by something else. <laughs> uh, does it have a mouth or any holes on its face? Yes. I want to pull out my water skin and dump it through what would be the mouth hole. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um see let's try for dexterity all right just a straight dex yeah Ooh, eight uh how much of that water did you use uh, uh, if i'm shoving it in its mouth all of it i'm all assuming it. Okay. i'm holding the bottom the ba back of it and mm -hmm. just squeezing like a capri sun okay <laughs> Um, you get it in some of the, like, open surfaces. It's kind of doing the same thing the one that in front of Sticky is doing. You didn't quite short-circuit it. You know, you didn't quite take it out 100%. It's still on its feet, so to speak. Um, mm -hmm. But now its movements are a bit jerky. That's number... Oh, wait. That's number four? Yeah. That one was actually already... That one's gone, because that was actually already nearly out. Ha ha! Sorry, I was looking at a different one. So, number four is dead. I'm assuming um, water also goes all over Yuza, and she's, like, wringing out her hands, almost as if she was covered in spider webs or something far worse than what it actually is for water. She's just so upset by the situation. <laughs> all right. Um, but at least it's gone. Okay. There's no joy in a water kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so right now on the board you have one threatening sticky and two guarding one ship and one guarding the other and top of the round two sticky uh i'll just see if i can finish it off with the rolling pin sure just home run take the head off uh let's see that is an 18 to hit. That hits. Ah. Four. <laughs> that rolling pin. 
with, yeah. the, with the rolling pin sound Five effects. Five points of damage. Combat is very violent, even in the booth. <laughs> yeah. That one also, uh, that was also on its way out. So that one is dead. Outstanding. To, to the kill. Well, I nearly killed you. I don't want to kill you. Um, there we go. Okay. Are you on the outside of it, or were you on the inside of the circle? Well, I I went around to the back of the control panel of the to the back side of the robot. Oh, to the control that's panel. right. Okay. So I just okay. looped myself around there. Cool, cool. All right. Okay, so the robots. Hmm. Well, hang on. I I, I still have some movement oh, left, right? Yes, you do. Okay. There's a uh, big uh, collection of ball bearings in front of me still. I'm going to jump on this robot like a bodyboard and skate through as much of the ball bearings as I can. And and I'll try to shove this robot bodyboard in the direction of number two at the end of my movement. See if I can't take him down too. Oh, I love it. So you're like robot surfing. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, gosh, it's either dexterity or... St- I feel like it's dexterity and strength, honestly. Like, do you get what, where I'm going with this? Yeah, so maybe I could do like a strength acrobatics roll. Sure. Okay. So let's see. That'll be my regular acrobatics, but I'll have to take three off this roll. So instead of a 20, it's a 17. Okay. So that was to like jump on him and do the bearings? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Were we doing two rolls or just one? You can't I just did okay. a strength acrobatics roll. Oh, you just did one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Sorry, I was just geeking out over the the image in my head. Inspiration point, because I love it. <laughs> All, right. All right. So yes, uh, you you jump on him. You've just invented like crowd robot surfing or something. I don't Excellent. know what you did. Uh, and you're over. Oh, see, darn it all. I don't want to move all of you. Here, I just, can move myself. Yes, please do. Uh, you um, want me to be like around here? Are you trying to knock him? Well, I'm assuming you went right into him. You right, uh, went right into number two. I was trying to, yeah, as to the extent that I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, With, you're fine. R- you... riding, riding the robot boogie board right into number two. So my question to you is, are you trying to knock him away or just knock him prone? Uh, away would be fantastic. Okay. Let me look at this again. All right, so let's say he's guarding the entrance here. He's probably like, we'll give him maybe like right about here. You've knocked him that far. Great. Anything else you want to do? Uh, Unless you'll have, um, if I've got enough movement left to stand up, I will. I'm not sure that I do. How much movement do you have total? Uh, Oh, oh, only 20 because I'm a zombie. Yeah, no, I'm done. Right. Fair enough. Okay. So right now, um, he's and he's prone. He's down. Well, I think number five is going to let's see. That's too far. Actually, no, that's not too far. Huh? Do I want to do that? I think number five is going to go here instead and go after Yuza with my nine. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm assuming nope. that doesn't hit you. All that right. <laughs> okay, then to Uthal. Still thinking. So oh. um, <laughs> I moved around and I'm going to attack. Um, I would have to drop, I think I'd have to drop my mace or my shield or something to grab the, the water bottle. So I think I'd probably just swing at him. Okay. Never mind. Does not hit. Um, and if you could please say your number. Oh, 10. Thank you. All right. Eight for the class. <laughs> 10, unfortunately, does not hit. Anything else you want to do? Nope. Okay. Uh, Yuza. Uh, I'm going to disengage 
and run towards the ship where Sticky knocked the robot back because I want to start getting in there and getting things going if I can. Fair enough. Okay. So what? I think you have 20 feet, right, of movement? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, how far is that? I don't remember how to like drag your distance. That drag everybody. Um, I'm unfortunately for whatever reason it's like dragging everybody when I do this. Uh, sometimes when you drag it, it actually just gives you the number, the <laughs> distance, but sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, just try grabbing it. Try grabbing you if you can. See what happens. I, well, for some reason on my shard, it's grabbing all three of you. Well, no, mine, I mean, mine I mean, is... uh, Rachel. Yeah, okay. okay. There you go. Here we go. All you right, yeah. You got it. So I'm just going to move. If I disengage, do I, is it double movement speed then, or is um, it? No, disengage just means they don't get a chance to hit you. Okay. But it's regular movement. So, okay, cool. You're just going to hold? That's. I'm headed to the ship. I'm going nice. to try to get that going. I figure out of the three of us, I have the best oh, chance. Somebody has to get, get things going. I've okay. driven the, the mobile carriages in the other world. <laughs> this is probably exactly the same. Nice. <laughs> nice. How different can it be? All right. So top of the round to Sticky. All right. You said those robots have what look like sort of little eye holes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I am going to reach into my basket of moon biscuits, pull out two, one in each hand, freshly baked moon biscuits, run up to this dude, and one biscuit in each hand, mash them right over his eye sockets. (laughs) Oh my gosh, I love How many inspiration points am I allowed to give out? Because, (laughs) seriously, um, yes, please, uh... Is that like a... This feels like a dexterity-based attack of some kind. I'm like, is this considered an attack? (laughs) Uh, Whatever you want. You're just uh, giving them, you know, food. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yes, please. Please uh, please roll for that. Okay, what do you want me to roll? Um, Yeah, I think dexterity would be... Would be the best. Okay. Oh, for funsies, because especially because you're so good at it. Let's say sleight yeah. of hand. Oh, brilliant. Okay, fantastic. I like that. I like that even better. Twenty four. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and as you mash the biscuits into their eyes, you're like, now with official real moon dust. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. I don't know if that would be considered damage. You're just basically I'm, blinding I'm, them. I'm trying to blind it. Yeah. 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 So it's, we'll just say it's blinded. It. Here. Beautiful. Uh, anything else you want to do? Uh, no, I'll, I'll stay where I am. Okay. Um, all right. So then give me one second. Look at this lay of the land. Um, Um, all right, so this one's blinded. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna try to hit you, but it's definitely at a disadvantage (laughs) because yeah. All right, so my first roll is a five and my next roll is an eight. I'm assuming neither of those would work. Yeah, so the robot's like, (laughs) like that at you. Excellent. (laughs) You easily dodge it. Um, number... Never underestimate the power of biscuits. <laughs> number six is going to hold because it wants to guard that. Number five. <clears throat> oh, does it want to go after Uthel or go after Yuza? I think it's going to go after Uthel because it's right there. Ah, seven. I think it got distracted by the moon biscuits. The smell of fresh moon biscuits. All right, to Uthel. Wallop. I'm going to wallop him. All right. Wallop away. 23. That definitely hits. Six points of bludgeoning damage. Math. Gotta love math. Okay. Uh, Anything else you want to do? I will say, uh, guys, get on the ship. 
Get out of here. I'll hold him off. That's very noble and heroic of you, but we're all coming together. Just gonna get it warmed up. <laughs> okay. Um, then I guess to use it, yeah? I suppose so. All right. I'm gonna keep going to the ship. I think... Do I make it? Yeah. I mean, you're pretty much at the door. We'll say by this point you're... So if you're, like, at the door, you're out of initiative. I'll just say you're, like, on the ship. In the door. Uh, to get meta with it, when we've been out of initiative and out of the combat before, if we've killed things, that means we're healed. Does that mean once I hit the door, I, I have to work? <laughs> sure, why not? But oh, just, just yeah. for you, because you're the only one out of initiative. Beautiful. I'll all need right. all of that wit for starting this thing. <laughs> You mean you don't want to go back into the fray and help your friends? So, I mean, I'm at the door. I could launch some fireballs <laughs> on my next one. Oh, my gosh. All right. So now that you're in the door out of initiative, are you just you just want to stand in the door? Or is there anything else you want to do? Well, that's all my movement. So I don't <laughs> know that there's very much else I can do. Fair enough. Okay. All right. So we'll just say you're like looking around the ship, getting oriented. Mm -hmm. Get down. Okay. Sticky. Um, okay. I will, as before, take advantage of its blindness to loop around to its backside. Okay. Um, uh, if I can still bonus action to try to get that hatch open. I mean, that's not really a ton of movement, so yeah. Okay, so that is a 32. Whoa. yes. <laughs> it's like it just pops open. It's, it senses your presence. I'm out of water, but I do have a flask of oil, and that is going inside as my action. I thought you were going to say you were going to spit on it. No. <laughs> no. I don't I, have I, water, I, but I, I have agree, saliva. I agree with Colby. Probably a lot of dry mouth for a zombie. <laughs> No, oil. oil. I mean, but There's in so theory, much clicking on the recordings. Mm -hmm. In theory, wouldn't a robot like oil? It might indeed. I'm. Um, that's not <laughs> too much of a good thing. I have a plan. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I can't um, do it till next turn for because of action economy. But fair, that's fair what enough. I wanted to do. Okay, uh, so you're holding. <clears throat> oops, where did my pen go? You're holding the oil, and it's blinded, and then. Okay, so it is, it's still blinded, so disadvantage, uh, let's see here, a three. Okay, so it just thinks you're still in front of it and it's just right. flailing around. Um, number five is going to go after Uthal again. Gosh, I'm rolling poorly. With a 15? Nope. All right. And then to Uthal. Nope. 13. Nope. All right. So basically everyone's just kind of going like this right now. Uh, <clears throat> Yuza, you're the only one out of initiative. What are you up to? Well, I'm at the door. I am... I'm going to turn around and launch Fireball at 5 and 6 because I can in that radius and I can sculpt spells so Uthal will be fine. 5 and... Oh, 5 and 6, not 2. Okay. No. All right. Max is doing, or Sticky's doing something with two. I'm going to let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got oil. You could, you know, <clears throat> right? I mean, if, you, if, you, if you can hit two instead of one, it's always a good plan. Yeah. So uh, five and six have to make a deck saving throws. Okay. So five got 16. Uh, that is fine. Okay. And six, the one by the ship, got a four. Oh, that's less fine. So that is 8d6 fire damage. Dang, girl. <laughs> 24. Ooh. Oh, my word. All right. And that is the one right by the other ship. That's the, yeah. So I don't know how you want to deal with that, <laughs> Game Master. <laughs> I mean, it's not looking too good. It's still kind of flailing around, but it's uh, 
it, it, yeah, it, it'll be on its last legs. Oh, I meant the ship itself. Oh, wait, Where's... were you trying to set the, the ship on fire? No, but I mean, it is in the splash zone. A fireball oh. is kind of an inexact means of dealing a lot of damage. Yeah. I see. Okay. I think for some reason I thought you were doing like magic missile or something. Um, How big of a radius is that? It is a 20 foot radius and I only sculpted to save Uthel. Okay. Um, let's see. What's going on? Uh, you seem to have hit um, some lines or maybe a gas tank or something in the other one. And uh, things are catching fire. There might be an explosion in a round or two. All right, well, you guys should hurry up and then I'm going to turn around and go through the door. <laughs> She's like, my job here is done. Bye. That was the equivalent of a parting shot. And now I need to get us out of here. <laughs> yes. U- Uthal's going to do a little dynamic lighting change here. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is amazing. I love it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Sticky, what are you up to? Um, I remember when I yanked those wires out of the last one, there were some sparks. And I just poured a whole bunch of lamp oil in there. So I'm <laughs> reaching in two hands, grab as many wires as I can, make as many sparks as I can. <laughs> I love it. Give me a strength check, please. Oh, that's only a six. I'm going to use that inspiration point you gave me right now. I have, I've given you like 20 inspiration points, so you have no uh, excuse now. <laughs> no, no, no. The dice don't like this plan. I only got a seven. Oh. Still, it only needs one or two sparks, maybe. That's true. That's true. Let me see. If, okay. Um, I, I, my roll against you is just barely. A uh, couple sparks are happening. Not as much as the ship next door, but this one, this one could catch. Give it a bit. Oh. All right, um, then I will just give it a, uh, um, then it's time to go. I mean, it's blinded. It, it might be about to be on fire. I will head for the door. Uh, I probably can't make it all the way on, so I'll get to about there. Disengaging? I know it's blinded, but just to be safe? Uh, if, I mean, I don't think I can bonus action disengage without, until my powers come back. Okay, let's just, for funsies. It's it's attack of disadvantage at sure uh, attack of opportunity at disadvantage. Um, oh yeah, that's a six. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. You're at the door. You're like, hey. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got um, one blinded robot. Let me see. Can it unblind itself? Uh, not quite. We'll say one of the biscuits falls out of its eyes, and it's got like crumbs over it. So still like half blind crumbs. Um, it is going to go after you, Sticky. You're at the door, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and attack at disadvantage. Three. My rolls today suck. Okay, I'm assuming a three does not hit. No. Yeah, your biscuits are good, man, let me tell you. Um, I think... Oh, uh, this guy here, he's kind of spinning around. Number five... Uthel's right there with a seven. That's not going to hit. And number eight is going to go this way as well and go for Uthel with a 20. That one's still standing after the fireball. I couldn't remember. It It is, yeah. It's on its last legs, but it's still, oh. yeah. Uh, Uthel, 20, does that hit? Yes, it does. All right, so let me look at this for damage. Give me one second. Oh, yeah, here we go. Four for damage. Okay. That puts me down to 14. Okay. All right. And then that's to you, Uthal. I will disengage and head over this way towards the ship and imminent departure. Good. Um, I mean, and even though we're, I'm still doing you in the lineup use, even though you're not technically an initiative. Uh, I mean, I'm getting the ship started. <laughs> uh, what was it before to run it? 
Was it our candle animal? And <laughs> yes. Was last world. Yes. Can you handle this animal? Please, let's find out. Mm. And I'm going to give it maybe... Well, that's a four. I'm going to use one of my inspiration points to reroll. Sure. 20. Nice. nice. That'll work. Yeah, so you work your magic and, and uh, this animal is purring. Kind of like the one on my lap. Um, <laughs> but yes, if you, can, if you can drive a horse's carriage, you can drive a spaceship. Love it. So it's Landing to... might be different, but <laughs> so far, so good. We'll roll for that later. So uh, for Uthel and Sticky, you guys are beginning to hear that kind of like whirring noise as it's mm -hmm. like, you know, beginning to, what's the word? Like warm up, come alive, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, mm -hmm. Sticky, Rev what you doing? Up. Um, I think at this point, I'm going to take a leap of faith here. Because I saw Yuza just kind of stood there and did nothing for a little bit, and her magic came back. I'm just do nothing. I'm going to take this turn. I'm going to stand here. I'm not dodging, not taking any actions or movements. I'm just waiting to see if I unzombify. You're still outside the ship? Yeah, Where but that you? happened to her when she was just standing near the ship. She wasn't in when it happened. No, she was in it. She, she was, was on the door. Like, if you think of the, like, ramp thing and, like, the oh. doorway, she was basically on the ship. Yeah, that's when I said she was out of initiative. You're welcome to just stand there. I mean, <laughs> that's fine, I'm too. I'm trying it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm trying it. We'll see what happens. That's what I'm doing. You're still technically in initiative. Okay. So, no. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. I think I've pushed my luck enough this session. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to go jump on the ship. <laughs> You didn't move. You didn't anything. I don't know I'm if non-action is not, considered. I'm not leaving my friend out here by himself. <laughs> okay. Non-action is considered action. All right. Um, are, you're not going to attack anything or anything? Just no, I, I'm spending my out. turn waiting to see if the zombie thing goes away. Okay, fair enough. Which apparently Our... it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I also appreciate the fact that you're not trying to metagame. Mm. That you're just like, maybe this will work. But like, yeah. you know deep down. I love it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so the robots, uh, that one is still half blinded. It's going to go for you, Sticky, with disadvantage, with a seven. Oh, my word. That ain't happening. All right, so number five is going to go, it can actually go pretty far, but we're just going to keep, it's going to kind of come here in between you. Um. This one's going to go here, but this one's going to kind of be like in between you and the ship. Um, so number five is going to go for Uthel. Don't worry, I've been rolling poorly all day. Twelve? No. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. And the other one is a four. Oh my gosh. So yeah, they're, they're like stormtroopers. They're horribly ineffective. They just look cool. All right, Uthel, what do you got? I uh, will disengage yet again. Okay. Whoops. Maybe. 20. You're right. You're also like nearly on the ship. Correct. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Um, nope. Okay. Uh, Yusa, what's happening with you? You're just uh, still warming it up? Yeah, I'm just, I, I got it ready. All right. She's like, where are they? We were supposed to leave 15 minutes ago. I know. I'm just, they're not very punctual. I'm waiting. Uh, as soon as boots touch, touch the ship, I'll have us off. <laughs> Somebody's boots. All right. So I'm going to take Yuza completely out of initiative at this point. It's basically Sticky Robots and Uthel. Sticky, what do you got? Um, I cannot believe I didn't do this the first time. I will get around to that access panel. I don't need wires. In my equipment, I have a tinder box. <laughs> little stone. Little iron. I'm going to try to ignite the oil inside the robot. Oh my gosh, sure. Um, uh, More fire. 
Yes. Go ahead and just stump. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> I, I just well, want to check. We up. learn from each other. I think. Yeah, I like how you're like. Oh yeah, I, I have this thing. Um, I just want a, a check of some sort to just see. It's not like how well you can light the thing. It's more like if your mind's My in aim? the right space. Yeah, or your aim or something like that. Dexterity. Yeah. Sure, let's do it. Natural one. <laughs> I mean, I think that like. When you were busy splashing mm, my, the, the other one, it got a little yeah. wet. Yeah. yeah, so it's got to dry out. Yeah, darn it. But it's a good idea. It's a good idea. All right. Well, hearing use a command us to get on the ship, I'll use the rest of my movement to circle back and hop into that doorway. All right. You are also technically out of initiative, and you are also back to your Ooh. normal state for a little bit. Fabulous. All right. Um, okay. So you're gone. Um, Number two is going to go after Uthal. It's also at disadvantage. It's half blind. And that was a five. So I'm assuming that doesn't do anything. Nope. Um, yeah, we'll just do one last ditch thing. All of these guys, five and six. All right, so five did a three and six. I suck today at rolling, did a four. You're totally fine. Okay. It's like we're not shooters. terribly mad about that fact, Roshani. Yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> Who cursed my die? <laughs> All right, so the tabby, <laughs> revenge of the tabby. <laughs> Probably when he was stepping on the keys, he did something to my dice. All right, Uthal, what do you got? Just gonna step on the, uh, you know, disengage and step on the ship. Cool, cool. And you're also uh, back to normal. Um, you're also out of initiative. Um, and, uh, I think Yuza, you had it going, right? Oh, yeah. I, I rolled All a right. 20. I'm ready yes. to go. All right. So as you guys, like, race onto the ship and Yuza's like, guys, sit down, strap in or, you know, whatever, put, get in there, get secure. And you're like, you know, trying to find seats and trying to get settled. Yuza blasts out of the hangar just as the other ship explodes oh yeah her favorite Super right fire cool. so yes just and we are going maniacally <laughs> uses like i am avenged life is good again <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to end there and see what happens on the jungle planet in the next session thanks you guys so much for watching make sure you follow us on socials and we will see you next week bye